Okay, so let's have a say hello to Hatchet. There he is. Tormentor 3. And three, Legion. Two, one. one. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, he's okay. There he goes back. <laughs> so it's pretty neck and neck at the moment. No one's, no one's really got any advantage just at the moment. We're just trying to get that flipper, the pneumatic flipper, underneath another robot, just to get it out of the way. That's the plan. So have you got speed, have you got agility? That's what you really need in this. And if you've got a combination of those three plus a big weapon, you'll always win. That's what they say. All about the big weapon. So we've got an axe, we've got a, we've got a wedge and we've got a pneumatic lifter. Who's going to take the win? Three minutes. That's all they have is three minutes. So Hatchet is trying to do a very good job of causing as much damage as he can, but that axe is uh, not that effective with these other two robots. But he may just catch on their weak spot. In a little soft area. It only takes one hit to take a robot out. Who is it going to be? Oh, almost into the pit of doom. So sad news there for Legion, but is it going to be Hatchet? Is it going to be Tormentor? It's neck and neck. It's Mono on Mono. Titan against Titan. Oh, well done. Well done. Two, three, six. Camel Scout Chores, Django. Here we go. Robot teams, get ready. Three, two, one. So, three experienced and very prolific robots in the arena. Oh no! What is going on there with Fisher? Here goes the pit! Devil's Coach Horse is on the attack! Django is trying to escape! Devil's Coach Horse has got to make sure he doesn't get lulled into that pit and then they get a 10 second bend out. But Django is making a good attempt now at coming back. Oh, sparks are flying. Django is wounded. No, he's all right. He's okay. Oh! Uh-oh. He's beached. He can't get traction. Uh-oh. But I think the pit is coming back up in a moment. But Django is... Uh... What is going on here? Come on, Django, go for it. I think there might be a problem with Django's drive. We have a big piece of metal and bolts and washers flying around the arena. Who are they from? We don't know. I think Django is crippled. But I also think Devil's Coach Horse is having problems as well. Yeah, they haven't got a scooby do what's going on. Catastrophic injuries to Devil's Coach Horse, and it looks like that's it. Django takes a win. Very well deserved. Three, two, one, cease fire. This is Endeavor. Endeavor, where are you? There you go. Mini Moth and Stiff Breeze.
Let's go. Roll the team. Get ready. Three, two, one. Begin. So they're all waiting for the pit. There it is. Oh, he's done. As quick as that. Come on, Kane. Oh, no. It's okay, mate. I'll help you. And then he goes to the pit himself. So is there a design flaw there with Minimoff? Ten seconds to right yourself. Go on. Oh, oh, oh almost. <laughs> it's like a giant turtle upside down, isn't it? No chance of getting back up the right way. A little bit of a design flaw maybe there. Maybe. But who am I? So that was a good battle. Ten seconds to try and get yourself out. But if you go upside down and you can't ride yourself, that... 10 seconds also applies to you. So because Minimoff was upside down for longer, the decision has gone with Stiff Breeze. Let's introduce Defector. Okay, Defector, show yourself. There you go. So let's introduce Blackback. There he is. And Twisted Sister. Okay, Robotiers, get yourself into a corner, into a neutral corner. And on the count of three, it's Robotiers. trouble time. Here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. So they'll come out of their corners, smoking hot. They want to go for the kill straight away. They're all looking for a quick win. Because these are the... Oh, what did I tell you? What did I say? That spinning disc at the front there, if it touches anything, it will destroy it, especially plastic. Plastic gives you the ability to uh, all repair quickly and, uh, and also to take a lot of damage like that, but it looks like that damage is critical. So Twisted Sister is having a bit of a trouble in the corner. It's now stuck, wedged underneath, flat back. has had some damage there, but it doesn't look as if it's critical. There's some cosmetic damage. Oh, that, that don't look too good, does it? Uh-oh, who still we have a problem? <laughs> these guys spent months and months and months building these machines, and they've destroyed in seconds. So, of course, it looks like uh, Defector is basically here to take the win. Grab a round of applause for Defector! Oh, I'm sorry, Twisted Sister, guys. It's the first day, we're making some of the mistakes. Good job it's not live. So, what well on Twisted Sister, taking the win. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, hello. 
Okay. Roll the team. Here we go. Get ready. Three, we are. two, one. Begin. Good luck, Roboteers. Oh, straight in for the straight into the field. Oh my goodness me. What did he say? Destroyed in seconds or what? Its primary weapon has now been defeated. Now it's just a case of who can who can kill it the best. <laughs> Destroyed in seconds. So the judges have said because he was inactive, for more than 10 seconds he gets counted out. So it looks like they've got us a winner. So it looks like Scruffy takes the the win in that uh, in that very quick battle.